All right, working on the closet project today here. And I have used my contour tool I got at Menards for only $10 to make the groove here that I'm going to be putting into my board. So right there is the groove I need to make onto here because it's going to sit on that board. Now to use my handy dandy jigsaw from Harbor Freight. All right, so making some progress. I am using this as the bottom of the closet and I am putting the middle column on right now. So how I am centering it to make sure it's in the middle. I took my tape measure right there, measured how long this was, found the middle, and so I actually went to the width of this, found the width of that, lined it up. So right now I'm drilling, putting screws in that. Then I can make sure it's even on the bottom, which I've already measured to make sure that I'm not going to be going crooked here. So, otherwise, if this was way over here, that would be hard to align up there. All right, so I have the top of the closet on, five screws each column. These are construction screws, by the way. So they're a little bit stronger. Now I'm working on the bottom. So this is an extra board that I'm using to hold up the closet away off the floor so this can actually be flush with the back and have a lip on the front so that it can line up with the trim on the wall because see we made room for the trim but not room on here so we're just going to have this flush with the trim so right there yeah so now we're going to work on that all right so the middle point is 36 and 8 which I have marked down the middle so I can make sure I have my screws lined up to the middle column. All right, I've lifted the closet up. So now next I gotta brace it to the wall with these L brackets. That is next. All right, so I got the braces on. So it is adhered to the wall. And then I got the closet pole hangers attached. See that? I measured with a ruler from top to bottom about a foot to make sure they are centered. And with the measuring tape, as you can see, I've got my lines marked in pencil on these to make sure they are even. Next, I gotta cut this pole down to size and put a pole here and another pole here. Well, I got one up, but I messed up on this one, apparently, somehow. Yeah, I'm a little too short. <sighs> Gotta go back to Menards now. Another trip to Menards to get some uh, materials for the closet and to return some stuff. All right, in the builder's hardware section is where I found my closet pole holders. Right there. They're called pole sockets. $1.89 a pack, $1.99 a pack, excuse me. And then the brackets over here to hold the closet to the wall for more support. And those are only a couple bucks each. And this is where I get the screws, the construction screws, right across the drywall screws. This is where I got the materials from a closet, right here. The one by 18 by 6. Got those. And right next to them are the closet poles right here. So I got the pine right there. Yeah. Alright, so far I got one shelf up and I bought wooden dowels to cut down to the width of the closet so I can support this shelf. I have yet to put these wooden dowels up. 
and on that shelf there. So the screws I'm using, they're an inch and a quarter so that they don't go through to the other side, but they're still in there enough to support the dowels. And then after I put that shelf up, I'm gonna stain this closet. All right, so I am finished with the closet project. I stained it today, and I even got the top done so I didn't miss any spots. I used this Kona wood stain and used the rag. So shelves and poles and all, I even had the trinkets off, you know, removed and put them back on so that I could get under those stains. But yeah.